knocked off and wanted to get back in the ring here. Yeah. It's also very, very exciting in a horrifying way to see Forbes and the New York Times coming out and attacking myself by name, Infowars.com. Now, the Forbes article, in a way, is almost positive. I don't know if it's a hit piece or not, because we're called conspiracy terrorists and things, but it does admit that we've been right about gold going up in price, and it does admit that MF Global has disappeared all this money, and so people have a right to be upset, but it uses all the standard cliches. The headline is not right, though. We're saying you can't trust the banks, so that's going to elicit the bank run. That's what always causes the bank run. And you already see people in the last few months pulling their money out of the big six mega banks, and you now see them arresting people that come in and try to get their money out. When I first heard that a month ago, I thought, this can't be true. And then I watch YouTube after YouTube after YouTube where the people would go in and the cops were waiting and they would, like, say, you're upset today. Why are you so upset, ma'am? They'd be like, I'm not upset. Give me my money. They'd be like, you've got to wait. No, you give it to me now. That's a disorderly conduct. You're out of here. So many of these poor people that work for the system really think that they're going to hold the system up by, by engaging in all this tyrannical activity. The truth is they're going to allow the globalists to end this free republic as it's been known. Traveling across the West, and I've been out here many times, I've never seen children looking more poor and disheveled, people looking more freaked out and poor, restaurants that are few and far between being more empty, hotels and motels being more empty. Uh, we pulled up to get gas last night uh, next door to a uh, Burger King that was right next uh, to the uh, border with southern Utah and Arizona. It was, it was just on the Arizona side before you cross over into the Monument Valley, Utah area. And I got on video nine stray dogs, but by the time we got back on the RV and left, there was about 15 with more showing up. Uh, just large stray dogs fighting over scraps of food and following people into the uh, Burger King, growling at them, demanding that they give them something to eat. I mean, it was very, very dystopic. I've, I've never seen anything like this. And I've been out in the West a lot. I've never seen the Indian reservations uh, looking more run down and disheveled. I've never seen the people looking more dejected and freaked out. I've never seen more police, uh, more forests, service people uh, bugging their eyes out. Uh, the only new cars are government vehicles. Uh, it is really scary, uh, the, the, the uh, things I've seen out here, and I'm going to be filing more of those reports. I probably got 20 video reports I haven't uploaded yet. You know why? Because it's, uh, there's no Internet out here. I mean, you get in towns and sit there in a parking lot for an hour trying to upload a four-minute clip. So I'll have to follow most of these as we're uh, driving back to Austin. Uh, tomorrow evening, and so I want to challenge everybody out there uh, to be watching Tuesday night at InfoWars.com and Wednesday with the Nightly News. We've got uh, Mike Adams, uh, who's going to be hosting the Nightly News tonight. It's Aaron Dykes tomorrow, and I really appreciate the great job they're doing. Rob did a, did a great job. It's so good to see other informed people who can, in some cases, do a better job than I'm doing. God bless them. Plus, that means more targets. <laughs> I don't like being the only the only B-17 up here dropping bombs on the New World Order. Uh, Aaron, you started getting into the incredible statements by the uh, military regime installed by the globalists, the same folks that have taken our country over uh, through COG, now just machine-gunning men, women, children, uh, arresting anybody that doesn't wear a burqa, uh, Sharia law, uh, boy, and putting al-Qaeda in Libya, and then, the, and then the new forces say, hey, we're doing what America does. Incredible, Aaron. Well, yeah, you've got the tale of two cities going on because if you're Syria or some other country they want to run over, then every uh, outrage, every injustice is totally an outrage. But if you're a U.S. client state like Egypt in the middle of internal civil war, every uh, injustice is just justified because it's just like America. And the quote here is, we saw the firm stance U.S. took against Occupy Wall Street people and the German government against green protesters to secure the state, said an Egyptian state television anchor yesterday, and thus the implied justification for uh, what I think now amounts to at least 35 murders just from these recent clashes, all because the military will not give up power in Egypt and they're saying elections would be in 2013 or after. Amazing. And, and, and 
And notice how Anderson Cooper and others endorsed this as the ultimate in democracy six months ago, eight months ago, and now they're not even criticizing the mass murder and slaughter because it's purely a globalist system. Again, every country being taken over by this corporatist board and where all liberties are thrown out the window. We'll be uh, right back with Gerald Salente, Aaron Dykes, Jesse Ventura, Max Kaiser, and more. Don't forget InfoWars Nightly News tonight, 7 o'clock Central. Yeah, if you go to InfoWars.com, one love. You can see Forbes blaming Gerald Salente and I for possible runs on banks and the stock market going down. Headline, talk show host Alex Jones and guest call for run on banks. Forbes, they've got someone to blame. It's not MF Global's fault. And then there's another little headline from the New York Times blaming my film, The Obama Deception, watched more than 35 million times for free online. Because we want to defeat the globalist. We make powerful films and put them out for free. And they're now saying the guy that shot the White House did it because of the Obama deception. Really, a film that calls for nonviolence, a film that points out Obama is a puppet three years ago and would betray everything he said he would do. Really. Now, they're blaming the Tucson shooting. They're blaming Poplowski, the cop killer. They're blaming. Uh, this latest thing on the Obama deception, we've proven over and over again because they're scared to death of it. They're scared to death of our analysis. Like the three year old saying the emperor is not wearing any clothes, and everybody finally points out the obvious. I know rocket scientists. I know tyranny when it's coming down the road a million miles an hour at me. Okay? Now, I want to get Gerald Salente's update on this because as soon as he started blowing the whistle, that caused the dam to break. It was, the, it was the straw that broke the camel's uh, proverbial back. It turned out for almost two weeks, going back to early last week, they had known that massive amounts of money were missing from MF Global that had bought up other solvent firms, like the one that Gerald Salente had a multi-decade-long account with. By the way, I've now done research, and, and we have the head of MF Global and others, including federal regulators, at the CFTC who were invested with MF Global and had to recuse himself, saying that these funds would be guaranteed through a different system, just not FDIC. So uh, put that in your pipe and smoke it. But here's why Gerald Salente joins us. I misspoke at the start of the show. If you just type MF Global into Google and click News, the first two headlines you get are AP and CNN. We'll put these on screen. MF Global missing funds may hit $1.2 billion. Now, that was earlier this morning. Now the trustees come out and said, oops, it's more than $1.2 billion. That's the AP headline. And I see another one here saying it might be as high as $2 plus billion of the $6 billion that went into bankruptcy with the former globalist Goldman Sachs alumni, New Jersey mayor, with the head of the CFTC, invested in it, involved with Corzine, recusing himself a week and a half ago, according to Reuters and Forbes. So it's, it's, but, but, but it's not their fault. It's Gerald Salente of TrendsResearch.com and Alex Jones of Infowars.com. It's our fault. Aaron Dykes is riding shotgun in the studio. He'll be popping in. We've got Gerald till five after, and then he's leaving. And then Governor Jesse Ventura is joining us, then Max Kaiser.